it's, it's, uh, a lot of people don't believe me when I say I'm going to be 52, I think because I am uh, short for my age. And, um, <laughs> Because I'm on two foot high stage. <laughs> um, that doesn't make me feel good. <laughs> Being a short guy is, is not great, um, contrary to popular belief. <laughs> I mean, it was great earlier in my life when I uh, rode to greatness in the Kentucky Derby. Um, <laughs> Also, when I do those tumbling routines on the sidewalk. <laughs> but uh, other than that, it's not terrific. Because um, other guys don't respect you. You know, I have buddies, they're like 6'2", six 6'3", six and they've literally rested their drinks on my head. <laughs> Which is obnoxious, because I don't walk around like tickling their nuts. <laughs> Even though they do ask. Uh, <laughs> And the women don't want to be with a short guy, you know, and they'll say, oh, no, it doesn't matter. I just want a guy with a sense of humor. That's the funniest fucking thing I've ever heard. <laughs> you know, women want a big guy, so I'm going to pick him up, throw him around. Until so they find a big guy who picks him up and throws him around. <laughs> like, fuck, this guy's just picking me up and throwing me around. <laughs> and to those women, I say, go fuck yourselves. Because you could have had me. <laughs> I can't pick you up and throw you around. I can't even move you. In fact, I could probably wear your clothes. So we're gonna add a double dip on that one. Double dip, yeah, because you can wear your granny panties and I can wear them, you know. You know or use them as a sleeping bag, whatever. Um, so I knew this about women, and I actually met my wife online, and when I did my profile, knowing that women want this, like I, I, I embellished about my height. I didn't lie, because I'm not dishonest. I didn't say I could dunk a basketball. <laughs> if I jumped out of a plane holding a ball, I still couldn't dunk a fucking thing. <laughs> I just said I was 5'8". Uh, <laughs> thank you for laughing. No, that's honest. Like, thank you, because Again, I'm on a two foot high stage, I'm still not fighting. <laughs> but I figure I'll meet her in a, in a dark bar. I'll wear shoes with heels. I won't stop moving. <laughs> so let her know! So I meet her in this dark place downtown and I wore my shoes. And now my wife is like five, 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 six. I walk in, first thing out of her mouth is, how are you taller than me if I'm taller than you? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know, floor slopes. <laughs> she says, well listen, just so you know, I'm looking for a guy to protect me. I'm like, that's great. Who's gonna protect me? <laughs> Yeah, so it's it's not great being a short dude. Middle age, of course, is not terrific. But you guys are too young. You don't get it. Like, good, yeah, because when you hit 50, you start decomposing rapidly. You do. Like yesterday, I did a set of pull-ups. Today, my feet hurt. I, I meditated for 20 minutes this morning. I got done. I'm like, I'm so tired. I take a fucking nap. I can't fart with confidence anymore. <laughs> and the dude didn't even know what I'm talking about. With, yeah, see? When you're a dude, the best thing like, you know, sex, shitting, farting, making money, that's about it, right? When you lose one of those, it's like losing a friend, right? So now when I fart, I'm like, oh, that was too warm. That can't be good. I feel you, dog. You go, you go rip a shark. Don't, not bad. 